Hey you guys, so disclaimer, I'm on my old computer. Also another disclaimer, I am currently recording several videos today, so I will be wearing the same thing if you're noticing that. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing um, how I personally keep my anxiety at bay. Those of you who don't know, I do suffer from anxiety. My anxiety, not to downplay it, is more so situational anxiety. So um, I can get excited happy about it but it makes me anxious around the holidays which we're in right now the holiday season with busy schedules and just you know running around acting crazy in general I get anxious and so I am on medication for it but I find that with any type of I don't even want to say disease or with any type of process managing it is the challenging part so but at this point this is like my fourth or fifth year into this especially since I have a small child um, at this point I have noticed some signs and I have created a basically plan of things to help me to keep my anxiety at bay so disclaimer I am not in the medical profession if you have any questions or concerns regarding your own mental illness or anxiety please please contact a local doctor okay or physician or psychiatrist someone who can help you there so what I'm going to do basically is give you guys a breakdown of things that I do to keep my anxiety at bay so the very first thing and I shouldn't say that not in any particular order is to recognize the red flags for me personally it's when I'm forgetting stuff um, I'm being short-tempered and I can tell I mean I can, I can literally feel feel it creeping up you know it's coming from my toes all the way up creep creeping up and traveling up my body that's how it is for me I even say it out loud I'm getting anxious or you you know my husband or Jamie you're driving me crazy because I'm getting short I'm getting I'm getting short with everyone I know the warning signs but then the next step would be to act accordingly and I haven't been, um, and I, at least I did in this, this previous go around. Um, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. And what happens, especially with me personally, is that I get so anxious and so busy with life that then I get sick. And then that just heightens my anxiety because now I'm out for a few days because now I literally have made myself sick worrying about things. So recognize the warning signs, the red flags, and take the steps, Okay. So some other things, and I'm going to show you some things I actually use, is I would say the number one thing that for me is to live intentionally. That basically means for me is make sure I'm drinking my water, I'm taking my vitamins, um, try to stay on schedule. If possible, schedules are really big for me. I am a to-do list person. Um, if something doesn't get done today, I try to do it the next day. If it doesn't get done then, I try to do it that week. That way I'm not rolling things into the next week and now I'm really anxious and bothered because my schedule is off, okay? Um, working out, being mindful how I speak to others, being mindful of my thoughts when I'm thinking about, okay? Trying to stay on things that are not so negative. Um, a next thing for me would be to remain positive, stay positive. It is really easy when you get anxious and you have a lot of things going on, like I said, to dwell on the negativity. Um, and take it from me, you guys, I just got out of a spell of, of anxiety to where I was almost creeping into depression. And I had to literally pull myself. For me personally, I can do that. Not everyone has the ability to do that. Um, so I say my positive affirmations. I focus on what I accomplished that week or that day. And then I use any type of mishaps or fails, I should say, as a learning opportunity. Okay, what can I do tomorrow, next week, or next month so this doesn't happen again? Okay? Um, another thing is to be flexible. And this goes with my scheduling. I used to be a type of person to where I felt like I had to get everything done on a Friday. You have two more days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Be open, okay? Be flexible. Don't be rigid to one schedule, one this thing. This goes back to um, living intentionally. Plan, yet be flexible. I, like I mentioned earlier, I am a planner. I have my three priorities for the, for the day. Um, but sometimes if I get my three priorities for the day done, I look at what's going on later on that week. Okay, can I do something from this list? If I can, great. That way, if something happens tomorrow, now I have two items on my to-do list to do instead of three because I did that extra one today. You see what I mean? If my plan A or plan B doesn't happen, 
it's okay. I really have to tell myself that sometimes, you guys, because I could get so bummed out if something doesn't fall through. But I have to, again, out loud say, it's okay, tomorrow's another day. Let's move it on to tomorrow and let's just move on. There's another day, just move on. So again, plan accordingly, but be flexible, all right? And last but not least, this is a big one for me, extensual oils. <laughs> <laughs> I say I have them in front of me. Um, I have an essential oil diffuser. I would have to say my three favorite oils for um, anxiety or lavender, sweet orange, and frankincense. And I have some examples here to show you. This is sweet orange. You probably can't see that. And then this is lavender. I keep several bottles of lavender oil around. Like this is probably the third one I have in the house. But more recently, I purchased a oil mixture through... Um, Whole Foods called Chill Pill, and I've already gone through almost half the bottle. <laughs> Chill Pill, and it's actually a mixture of, I wanna say um, lavender, lavender and sweet orange, and there's some other things in here. But yes, essential oils are great. Sometimes when I'm really feeling it, the anxiety, I will put a little bit of lavender oil behind my earlobes, on my actual wrists. I have a diffuser that goes on 10, 12 hours out of the day. I purchased it through Amazon. I will be linking that down below. I will sometimes sprinkle one or two drops on my little boy's um, pillow, on our pillow at night. Yes, I do believe in that. So that is it, you guys. Let me know if you have any tips, any suggestions on how you deal with anxiety. Um, but yes, I like I said before, I do have medication for it. But if I can follow all of these items, I really do find these five essential oils, focus on the positivity, live intentional. That is really big for me because that encompasses a lot of different things. Everything from eating well um, to uh, being whole spiritually and just all the way around, okay? Being aware of the trigger signs or warning signs, plan yet be flexible. Those are my tips. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.